Two common issues you may encounter are an assembly that spits water from the relief valve vent periodically or an assembly that drips continually from the relief valve vent. When troubleshooting an assembly with a relief valve that's dripping, no special tools are required. All you'll need is a standard screwdriver and to take a few simple actions to determine what is causing water to be discharged from the relief valve vent. The first action you will want to perform is to close shutoff valve number two. If the drip stops, it indicates that a fouled second check with a back pressure condition exists. If it does not stop, open test cock number four to create a downstream flow. If the discharge of water from the relief valve vent becomes less or stops, it most likely indicates you have a fouled first check. If the discharge of water from the relief valve vent does not stop with the number two shutoff valve closed and the number four test cock opened completely, it's most likely the relief valve. On occasion, it may be both, a fouled first check and a relief valve issue. To service the assembly, here are the steps you'll need to take. Close shutoff valve number one. Close shutoff valve number two. Shutoff valve number two may already be closed if you just performed troubleshooting procedures. Now that you have isolated the assembly's valve body from the rest of the piping network, you need to relieve the pressure by opening test cock number two, test cock number three, and test cock number four. After all the pressure has been relieved from the valve body, it is safe to remove the valve cover bolts. Lift the cover straight off. The relief valve stem and diaphragm assembly will normally remain with the cover as it is removed. The relief valve spring will be free inside the body at this point. Remove this spring. Remove the retainer. The check valve modules can now be removed from the valve by hand or with a screwdriver. Remove check valve number two. Remove check valve number one. Remove the relief valve seat. Now that all of the components have been removed from the valve body, it is ready to be inspected and cleaned or rebuilt. The check seats are attached to the cage with a bayonet type locking arrangement. Hold the cage in one hand, push the seat inward against the cage, and rotate one eighth of a turn clockwise for one quarter inch to two inch valves counterclockwise for two and a half inch and three inch valves to release the components from each other. The spring cage, spring, disc assembly, and seat are now individual components. Inspect the seat. Check for any sort of imperfections on the surface of the seat itself. If there's any imperfection, you will need to replace it. On the disc assembly, check for any imperfections of the rubber and clean or replace as necessary. Use a small screwdriver to remove the silicone disc from the holder and inspect for any tears, rips, or buried debris. Before reassembling the components, inspect the spring cage to make sure it's in good shape and verify that the disc holder moves freely in the spring cage. Upon completion of inspection, cleaning, and repair, reassemble the components. Before you install the check assemblies, first apply an FDA-approved lubricant to the O-rings. Apply lubricant sparingly. The check valve is now ready to be installed. Use the same procedure to inspect, clean, and repair check valve number two. Note that the spring tension will be much lighter on check valve number two. The seats and springs of the two checks are not interchangeable. Make sure you put them back into the correct location or the valve assembly will not function properly. 
All O-rings should be cleaned or replaced as necessary and lightly greased with the FDA-approved silicone grease. Reinstall check valve number one. Reinstall check valve number two. Reinstall the retainer. Reinstall the spring. Reinstall the relief valve with the cover. Press down on the cover. Reinstall the cover bolts. Once reassembly has been completed, refer to the installation startup procedure to return the valve assembly to service.